I've never hugged so many people that I didn't know. Chardon United. Today, students went back to class, their hearts heavy, but their spirits as one. Back to the high school just four days after a deadly shooting in the cafeteria. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska is live in Chardon tonight. And Paul, certainly a mixed bag of emotions for students as they headed back to class. Well, that's true, Danita. This is the day they've been looking forward to, but at the same time, it was a very difficult day. When the Hilltoppers showed up at their high school this morning, they had a lot of support. Students from other school districts were there to greet them. They had grief counselors waiting inside the school, grief counselors with therapy dogs. There was also police officers here today. The students went into the school, a lot of support, but they came out this afternoon a bit quiet and a bit somber. We all signed the table where they sat as a um, memory to them, and, you know, they're going to keep the table. Uh, we did their lockers, and, um, you know, those lockers aren't going to be used anymore. We signed them. Chardon High School students are welcomed back with clapping and signs of support everywhere they look. Students from West Geauga High School, Berkshire High School, and other school districts lined up at the school's entrance, clapping for Chardon students, comforting fellow teenagers returning to class. The West Geauga kids are clapping all of our students in. Very nice. Yeah. How does it make you feel? Very warm, very sweet of them to do that. People that may not have even known where Chardon was have ever heard of us for something other than maple syrup and snow and everybody wearing all the red and the ribbons and it's nice to know that they feel for us. I know that we're in a safe place and that school is supposed to be a safe place and somebody obviously robbed that from us. As promised, on this Friday, the Hilltoppers, still in mourning, came and left school under the watchful eye of police officers. Their teachers and grief counselors there for them inside the school for tragedy struck Monday morning. I've seen people were happy to get back to school, almost normal. People were horrified just because of what happened. And I saw a lot of people that saw how many people were here from other districts and were really happy that everyone was there with them. You know, it like takes your breath away when you walk in there. So it's not, it's a good feeling to be back and, you know, but just to know that, you know, my fellow classmates are gone, it's not really a good feeling. Now, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, right here at the bandstand, the gazebo in Chardon Square. There's going to be a candlelight vigil at 7 p.m. Again, that's at 7 p.m. They're going to have uh, bagpipers here. And then afterward, at 8.30 to 10.30, in the same location in Chardon Square, they're going to have a uh, fundraiser, a dinner, and the donations uh, will go to the victim's family. Again, that's 8.30 to 10.30 tomorrow night in Chardon Square. Live from Chardon Square tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.